Uh, first is that 43% uh, of top publications are by Chinese authors. So the up and coming young stars are Chinese. The second reason is that China has a huge market size. And AI is not just about smart researchers. It's about getting a large market size with the data that allows the researchers to build value, to create um, valuable applications. And China has the largest market, so that's also beneficial. Uh, China also has a very strong capital engine in terms of angel VC and PE funding. So all this is coming together. Uh, I think China's a large number of up-and-coming young people and researchers and engineers and uh, entrepreneurs and large market size will definitely make China the largest market for AI in the three to five year time frame and perhaps one of the top one or two countries even in the scholarly metrics I think China has a good chance of being at the very top. In terms of the 50 percent of jobs that will be replaced in the next 10 years or so uh, the first ones that will be replaced will clearly be uh, blue-collar manual labor, especially on the assembly line, uh, followed by the administrative work, office work, that require uh, maybe f less than five seconds of thinking. So assistant type of jobs, uh, broker kinds of jobs, uh, paper processing kinds of jobs will be the first that will be gone. Uh, the next set of jobs that will be gone are the ones that require a little bit more thinking but still repetitive in nature. So on the uh, white collar side, it would be things like uh, uh, traders, uh, brokers, uh, research assistants for financial markets, uh, paralegal. Uh, these types of jobs will be gone uh, pretty quickly. 